how to install Habak OS based on Android 10 on your Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro or the Redmi K20 Pro. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Havoc OS based on Android 10 on your Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro or the Redmi K20 Pro. As you can see, I do have the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro running MIUI 11 Global Stable version 11.0.1.0 based on Android. And irrespective of the fact whether you have a Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro, the process remains the same. The prerequisites for this video are that you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have TWRP recovery installed. How do you unlock the bootloader and install TWRP recovery on your Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro? I have separate videos for both of those which are linked in the description of this video. Next thing, make sure your battery is at 50 or 60%. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30%. Also make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos and anything important which you have on your device because if we run into any encryption issues or any boot loops, then we will have to do a format data from TWRP recovery in which case you're going to lose all your pictures, videos and anything important which you have on your device. Another thing you need to know is that whether your device is encrypted or not. So for that you can go into settings and then you'll go into password and security go into privacy and look at encryption and credentials for me it says phone is not encrypted if your device is encrypted it is going to say encrypted over here now based on the fact whether your device is encrypted or not encrypted you will have to download an additional zip file all the files which you're going to use in this video are linked in the description of the video so we'll open file manager and we can go into archives and these are the files which you need. The first file is Havoc OS ROM zip file itself. Then you need an appropriate Android 10 vendor plus firmware zip file for your model of the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. How do you determine which vendor plus firmware zip file to download for your model? Well, I have a separate video for that, which is again linked in the description of this video. Then you need open Google Apps zip file. And if your device is not encrypted, then you need the disable force encryption zip file. Again, let me repeat myself. If your device is not encrypted, then you need the disable force encryption zip file. If your device is already encrypted, then you do not need this file. Next thing you need to go into settings and you'll go into password and security and remove your password, fingerprint unlock and face unlock. Once that is done, you will go back, go into me account and remove your me account once you have removed your me account you will go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account as well once you have removed all these accounts and security measures from your redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro make sure you reboot your device once why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we're doing this so that you peeps do not get locked out of your own device because we're going from me ui 11 based on android 10 to havoc os based on android 10. Once all of that is done, we need to boot into TWRP recovery. For that, the first thing you need to do is turn off your device. Once your device has turned off, you need to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the TWRP recovery boot logo. Once we are in TWRP recovery, first thing we need to do is go into wipe, select advanced wipe and you need to select Dalvik, cache and data. Again, these are the only three partitions which you need to select Dalvik, cache and data and then you will swipe to wipe. Once that is done, you will click on the home button, go into install, and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the zip files. In case you downloaded them on your phone directly, they will be in the download folder. In my case, I transferred them manually, so they are in the root directory. The first file which you need to select is the vendor firmware zip file. In my case, it is the last file, so we will select this file. Next, click on add more zips. In the next file which you need to Select is the Havoc OS ROM zip file itself. So this is the file, select the file, click on add more zips. And the last file which you need to select is the open Google Apps zip file. Once you've selected all the three zip files, all you need to do is swipe to confirm flash. Once all the zip files have been installed successfully, click on the home button. And those of you peeps whose device was encrypted, 
all you need to do is click on reboot and then select system for those of us whose device is not encrypted we will click on reboot and then select recovery so that we can boot back into to up recovery once we are back into up recovery we will click on install and the next file which we need to flash is the disable force encryption zip file so select the file and then swipe to confirm flash once that is done we will click on the home button and all we need to do is click on reboot and then select system however irrespective of the fact whether your device was encrypted or not encrypted if you run into any boot loops or any encryption issues then you will have to boot back into two up recovery by pressing and holding volume up and power button at the same time till you see the two up recovery boot logo once you are in two up recovery you will go into wipe select format data type in yes and then click on the check mark button on the bottom right of your keyboard do note this is where you're going to wipe out all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device so as i mentioned earlier make sure you have a backup of all those things for now we're going to skip the format data we'll go into reboot and then select system and there it is peeps we have the havoc os boot animation on our xiaomi mi 90 pro which means havoc os based on android 10 was installed successfully on our device the first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient let me skip the setup real quick and we do have the google play store on our home screen which means google apps were installed successfully we can now go into settings and then we can go into about phone and there it is we are running havoc os 3.0 based on android 10 on our xiaomi mi 90 pro so there it is peeps that is how you install havoc os based on android 10 on your xiaomi mi 90 pro or the redmi k20 pro and that will do it for this video peeps i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you